Right, here's a quick demo of my setup so far. As you can see, it's a map. It's getting a compass direction as well as uh, GPS positions from this from my f mobile device. So this is an app that's sending the information by Bluetooth. And as you can see, yeah, it kind of knows where we are. The blue dot here is us, and we are fa we're looking at that direction. Oops. So, uh, as you can see behind here, that brown shape over here is the Pinacotheque. It's lagging a bit now, but you can see it's almost lining up with the actual building. So now when I move, the problem is it's not particularly anchored. Oh. As you can see, it's kind of moving around. Which is not helpful. Um, so we can reset the map. Should be by the new location here, basically. And here's a route I've added. You can follow it around. When it jumps like that, it thinks we're back at the beginning. So now the Pinacotheque is here. So we have to reset. Uh, it's kind of back there. Yeah, it's not particularly stable here. You can see it's you're basically in the right place. Anyway. There's a line you can follow, or you can, if you don't want a line, you can choose to see a, say you wanted to f see if there's a, yeah, you can follow the bird, right now it's a bit too far away, and if you don't want the bird, you can follow some points around, these cubes. So there's a few options for that. Yep. And of course the brown shapes for the buildings are here for deep parking purposes. When you choose your navigation option you can close the menu and it will only see the floors. Let's put something on the line. Close the menu. Now we can follow the line. Yeah. That's the deal. Hey Kutana. Stop recording. <laughs> 